Well, hey friends, it's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living. It is 2.27 in the afternoon, and I just got up. I've been laying in bed all day. I'm not feeling sick, per se, but I've had a busy morning in the sense I had to go to town three times. And, um, yeah, I came back, and I was just so zonked, like so zonked. And my body's aching, if you know what I mean. So I laid down all afternoon and just set my alarm to get up because the girls will be coming home any minute now. But my teenager was here all day, so he could watch Maze while I had a little rest. But right now, I'm going to make that chili that I planned on making, I mentioned yesterday in my videos. And that's another thing. Let me sit down. I can't stand up for long. Yeah, that's another thing. I go to check uh, my comments in the morning. That's usually when I do. Of the video I was supposed to have published last night, which I remember clicking publish and everything, but it wasn't published. So that's why yesterday's video was up this morning. I don't know why, but at least it's up now. And, uh, yeah, so tonight is the success club meeting that we usually have here at my house, but we're going to go over to Medea's. And usually I make something, like we all, everybody that takes part, will make something like a potluck. But when I have to, I'm going to go into town here in a little while again, because um, I have some errands to do. I'm just going to pick something up and bring it, because I just don't really have, have it in me to make anything big and fancy. But I will make the kids supper, because... Uh, the world will fall apart if they don't have something to eat when they get home, for goodness sakes. So, yeah, I did cook that hamburger for the chili yesterday, if you watched my video. That was from yesterday, but published this morning. Um, and I have my own home canned beans and sauce and mushrooms and corn down in the basement. So I'm just going to add it all to a pot, heat it up, and throw some chili powder in it, and it'll be good to go. So it's not a whole lot of cooking to do, just a lot of heating up, so... I'll be back when I get a pot on the stove and, and stuff, so we'll move forward. Alright, that's the hamburger I cooked yesterday. It was stuck, so I had to go around with the knife, so I'm going to dump it in here and go get my sauce. Alright guys, I whipped that together. The girls got home and it was a frenzy here, because it was our last day of school with the parties and all that stuff. They were telling me about it. But it has two quarts of my home canned sauce, a can of my home canned whole tomatoes I just cut up, a can of my mushrooms and the meat. I'm just keeping it simple today, guys. So, it's all heated through. I'm going to keep it on low. Well, actually, I just shut it off, and I'll, I'll make sure it doesn't get too cold. It's 3.02. Um, yeah, I might have a cup of tea or something now to warm up. I'm freezing. It's not that cold out either. Like, it's it's cold, but it's not freaking cold outside, but it's just me. So... Anyway, so it's pajama day. She has her little elf pajamas on. And anyways, I'll be back. Uh, they're all howling for some food, so I'm just dishing it out. And that's the leftover cheese from the tacos yesterday. I'm going to put some on top. You're not howling. Yeah, right, Buster. Well, today was pajama day, like I said. Mally wore some jammy pants. And this is the shirt uh, that... A good friend of mine, her business sponsored uh, for mom when she was here on this earth. She's an angel now, but she lived with ALS until it was time for her to turn into an angel. But yeah, her uh, motto was Team Fortitude, Be Not Afraid, Walk for ALS, Team Captain Judy McGarvey. So. Now tell me what you want with chili. Really <laughs> Netflix and Pop Tarts. Netflix and Pop Tarts. You're silly. Netflix and Pop Tarts. <laughs> Here's a picture of Mazada got from her teacher. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Oh, this is the show. My tattoo. This is the show. Your tattoo. A tattoo. Mustache what is it supposed to be? Mustache plus pop tart. Oh, for goodness sakes. Crazy. Alright, guys. Well, everybody's. Oh, I gotta lock the door. Just a second. My teenager's here, but I always like to lock the door. Sorry. Anyways, I'm going to spin in. I have to go see a man about a horse. So, you know, that means something I can't tell you because it's a, a gift for somebody that might actually get wind of it on the video. But, yeah, I'll see him about the horse and I'm feeling a little better now. I did take a Tylenol. So, I'll stop to the big W. I'll stop to Superstore. Um, I have some cards to mail out. I'm 
hoping that I can get there first. We'll see. And uh, yeah, my husband has gone to a meeting thing this afternoon. He should be back in time for a success club over at my daughter's. Now, let me just hook you up here. There. For those that don't know what Success Club is, I know for people that have watched me for a while, you know we do this every once in a while. We do it like four times a year. And it's just uh, family members, a small group of family members that want to come together, and it's potluck style. And we present a goal, a personal goal. I know, and I've explained this before, when, when I first started, I wanted to learn how to use my sewing machine, but eventually it, <laughs> it evolved into something else. I still want to use my learn how to use my sewing machine, but I, I'm focused on my health and self-care and stuff now. Um, so somebody else could have something about a financial goal or, you know, a business goal or anything. It can be anything. So we come together and it's all positive. It's not criticism. It's just to talk about the goal and any gains we made on the goal. Um, and it's not a competition. It's nothing like that. It's just celebrating our own successes, no matter if they're big or small, um, in our in our lives and yeah they're, they're not related you know everybody's goal isn't really related to anybody else's it's our own personal goal so yeah tonight it's at Madea's house she hosted one there in the summertime I believe and um, yeah she's doing it again tonight too so that'll be exciting um, I didn't have to it worked out good in the sense that I didn't have to um, <laughs> extend a whole bunch of energy today. I am feeling much better right now, honestly, I am. But I laid down all stinking day and I needed it. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling a little more revived now, so that's good. Anyways, I'll check you when we get to town and uh, yeah, I wanna get some stuff sorted. It is uh, um, 3.30, so that's not bad. Till six to get there so I, I can do a few errands and uh, still get back to the house and get the kids sorted my teenager's gonna watch the kids while I go over there my husband's gonna come from his meeting it's over an hour away but he's gonna he's supposed to be back in time for the success club so fingers crossed but I'm gonna figure out what the heck I'm gonna buy I'm thinking a rotisserie chicken and a big salad maybe or something like that I don't know I don't know so we'll see all right, I'll be back. All right, friends. Well, I, like I said, I stopped Walmart, stopped a superstore. Dad called me because I got some more mail. Um, I still, I've been working on my mail call video. I'm going to try to finish that up tonight. And I'm not sure if I'll get this one up tonight or lump it with tomorrow's video. I'm not sure, but my teenager's here. Mally's going to help. I got them each a Gatorade for helping me out. I was talking to my husband. He's probably not going to make it to the meetings, but that's okay. And I did get a rotisserie chicken and a big family size Greek salad to bring over there. I'm feeling good now. And, oh, my battery died. Uh, thing of the, those brownies I made yesterday. So I'll give that to my mother-in-law to bring down to her house because there's lots of people down there. So yeah, I mean, they're really sweet treats, right? And I still have another can in the house, and I don't want to keep all that many brownies in the house because the kids will just eat them and gobble them up, and they're so super rich. Delicious, but they only they don't need to be eating that for days. So, yeah. Anyways, let's head over to Medea's and uh, check out what's going on. All right, I'm at Medea's, and Evie has a shirt and tie on. Isn't he handsome? Say hi, Evie. <laughs> I'll just show you. People are in the TV room just lounging. This is the salad I got, a great big one. It was $13.99 and a barbecue rotisserie chicken. <laughs> Fancy, huh? But look at her setup. Candy dish. I love this. It turns on and they move around and plays music and everything. I knew how to do it. I'll have to get her to do that after. Listening to jams and she has a collection of nutcrackers. 
So there's cheesecake in here, I believe. Some KFC. They're having some wine and then uh, some beer, local beer. I'm not, I brought some carbonated water. And a pepperoni and cheese donut thing and crackers. Medea made all this stuff yesterday. She dropped a tin off to Dad. Some banana bread, some gingerbread, some Oreo truffles, and some brownies. And she made shortbread too. And she made, uh, or she, yeah, she made a tin and dropped it off to the seniors program at the curling club to go to a senior. So that's really awesome. Anyways, I came up to the kitchen to get my my drink of choice, carbonated water. So yeah, I'll go in and have a little chit chat. All right, there's a shepherd's pie here too. I'm not gonna have any, but oh, maybe I'll have a little slice. And yeah, I'm gonna have some of this Greek salad. That's what I'm looking forward to. And a hunk of chicken. All right, this is mine. Some salad and a couple pieces of chicken. Oh, I'm full. But I'll just show you the babies. I know you've seen them before. He was sleeping when we first got here. Oh, he's saying hi. <laughs> and here's no feet. He's a great big corn snake. You only see a little bit of him. And he hardly ever has his head out like that. He has little tunnels all in through this sawdust. And she's a beauty. Has her chin up high. Oh, there he is. He changes colors. He's really beautiful. And here's the setup. We're about to have our meeting. And there's a little kitty corner down here. So, yes, very festive here. Alright guys, well I'm back from the success club meeting and I just finished up my mail call video so I'm going to post that one first and you guys will have seen it before you see the other one but look at all the goodies what what oh you guys are just fantastic so anyways I'm gonna shut it down now and I'll uh, check in tomorrow